Today we're going to demonstrate reducing bulk samples of fine aggregate to testing size using the Gilson SB33 Universal Mini Splitter, the smallest of Gilson's exclusive design universal splitters. A great choice for splitting powders and granular materials with a top size less than one quarter inch. According to ASDM C702, there are three methods for the reduction of large bulk samples of aggregate to the appropriate size for testing to minimize variation in material characteristics between the reduced test samples and the original bulk sample. Method A is using a mechanical splitter, method B is a procedure called quartering, and C the miniature stockpile sampling method for damp fine aggregates only. According to ASDM C702, method A, using a mechanical splitter, is the preferred method. Failure to carefully follow this process could result in a non-representative sample used in subsequent testing. Since we're demonstrating splitting fine aggregates, it is important to note that if the sample has free moisture on the particle surface, then you must dry the entire sample using temperatures that do not exceed those specified for any contemplated tests. Sample splitters for aggregate should have an even number of alternating equal width shoots, with a minimum of 8 shoots for coarse aggregates and 12 shoots for fine aggregates, with the minimum width of individual shoots being at least two to three times larger than the largest particle in the sample being reduced. The Gilson SB33 Universal Mini Splitter has 48 1 8 inch shoot bars at a 60 degree shoot angle. The SB33 has two pans to hold the two halves of the sample following splitting and a 1.7 liter hopper by which the sample may be fed at a controlled rate into the chutes. Place the sample into the hopper and brush any remaining finds from the pan or scoop into the hopper. Now uniformly distribute the sample from edge to edge. Using the SB33's spring-loaded hopper release gate, release the material over the chutes. Be sure to introduce the sample at a rate to allow the sample to flow freely through the chutes and into the pans below. Brush any remaining fines into the chutes. If you require a test sample that is less in quantity, Reduce the sample from only one of the pans into the sample splitter in as many times as necessary to reduce the sample for the intended test. Save the remaining sample material collected in the other pan not meant for the current test. Now that you have reduced a large bulk sample of fine aggregate to the appropriate testing size, minimizing variations in material characteristics between the reduced test sample and the large bulk sample, you can continue with your fine aggregate testing. For any questions concerning sample splitting or dividing, or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.